beauties this is where i keep all of my lip products okay just the top drawer i don't know why i panned all the way down <laughs> um so i got these dressers very inexpensively at christmas time from walmart and i have a few glosses right here i'll be keeping those i do like this formula so we're not even gonna put those in the little declutter and yeah it's a lot <laughs> Um, I have a lot of lip scents here. I have like little minis here, um, or like lip crayons or like velvety type formulas. Um, newer products, products I've been using a lot of. Liquid lipsticks, um, all my lip liners. I don't really use them a whole, whole lot. This is all brand new product um, and or backups. And then this is also new product. And I have a few JS right here. And then like square shaped ones. Um, and then this is all my glosses. Look y'all, look how many glosses I have now. I can't believe it. Can y'all believe it? I can't. And then that's all of my Rebel Rouge Labs lipsticks. Then I have this little container right here that I have basically my Lime um, Crime, um, some Kylie ABH, and my Dose of Colors. Fantastic formulation. And then we're going to pan around here. Hopefully I don't make you drunk. And this is all, <laughs> this definitely needs to be decluttered slightly at least. Um, this is all scrubs, balms, treatments, oils, things like that. Y'all know these are my passion, my obsession. So we are going to get into our lip declutter and collection. All right, beauties, we are ready to get started. Um, excuse the brushes, but y'all know I cannot see myself, so this is my guide so that I don't go out of uh, frame with you guys. I'm going to start with that little tray first that had of all of my like dose of colors, lime crime, things like that. I think, honestly, I'm just going to dive into lime crime first. I don't foresee getting rid of any. <laughs> Um, and most of them are new. I did kind of declutter not too long ago my lip collection. This is one of my all-time favorite lip formulas. Um, is this the same exact thing? If so, I don't need two. Okay, one's Blood Moon and one's Jinx. Um, I will quickly just kind of open them. I'm not going to do a ton of swatches because we'll literally be here for three years. But as you can see, the name is, I mean, it looks like Pure Blood. This one is brand new. Absolutely stunning. One of my all-time favorite formulas. Jinx, you guys have seen this quite a bit this fall slash winter. I absolutely love this shade as well. Um, this one right here is Cashmere. This is my Holy Grail lip shade. It is the perfect like grungy 90s beautiful like grazy nude shade. Absolutely fantastic. Um, I love their components. They are, um, I guess, kind of run-of-the-mill pricing for a more higher-end lip product. Um, they're around $20, but you guys, Lime Crime does sales all the time, and I mean all the time. Um, this one right here is Buffy. This one is kind of similar to Cashmere, but as you can see, there's like a little bit more warmth to this one. This is absolutely stunning as well. This has a beautiful slip to it. This one's another favorite. This is Desire. These have a beautiful slip to them. The staying power is there. They are absolutely incredible. Um, they don't flake. I think actually I'm going to declutter teacup. Um, this one is a lot older, but this is a beautiful kind of blue, you know, periwinkle shade. I have had this, I know, for at least two years. As much as I love it and I think it is a cool, funky shade, I am going to declutter that one. Um, this one right here is New Americana. You guys have also seen this quite a bit in the summer going into the fall. It's just a beautiful standard red. Um, but again, it doesn't break down very easily. This is Teddy Bear. This is another nude, of course. You guys know I'm obsessed with nudes. This is kind of a true, more brown-leaning nude. Um, but again, they, they're super comfortable. They don't break down. I don't know why I'm putting that on that side. Um, they don't break down very quickly, like with eating and stuff like that. And then this is another cashmere. This is a backup, again, because it is one of my Holy Grail lip products. Um, but again, sorry, I'm spacing. Um, it doesn't break down super easily or anything like that when you're eating it. Um, it lasts a long time. It's, it's a beautiful formulation, you guys. This is the shade Bleached. Again, nude. This one's kind of a little bit more peachy. This one is Mercury. I am going to go ahead and declutter this one just because it's a metallic. Um, I don't do metallics. I do like to keep them for maybe if I'm doing like more avant-garde, bold looks or whatever. But am I really going to hold on to it just for that? No. So she's got to go. And then this one is Faded. This one I've used up quite a bit. Um, but still nude, you know, darker, bold nude. So I'm going to keep this one as well. Hey, I got rid of two. I'm slightly proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, I'll grab just this row over here. We'll just kind of go in order. Oh, that's not supposed to be in there. So I have a few Kylie. I think I'm pretty sure this is like her very, very first packaging. So I'm honestly going to just declutter these. I know these are probably three years old, two to three years old. Um, but this is the shade I should have worn glasses, Dolce K. 
Again, nudes, y'all know I really, really like nudes. I will also kind of point out right now, I can actually see that the texture looks a little different and it's starting to bunch up. Um, it's also kind of starting to get a little bit more solidified around the actual, you know, the tube. Um, if at any time, not just lip products, anything, if at any time the texture is changing, the way that it looks changes, um, the scent, anything like that, please discard it. I know we spent a lot of money on our makeup products, but it's not worth it to put old makeup on your lips or your face. So we're going to discard that one. Um, this one is Malibu. Yeah, Malibu. Again, a nude. I'm pretty obsessed with nudes. Um, but again, this is the older packaging and it is definitely way old. So we're going to get rid of that. This one right here is actually almost gone. I'm not sure if you can see that. <laughs> this is the shade Moon. This is one of my Holy Grail products also. The only thing I will say with this is that I do not feel that they are quite as long lasting on the lips and they break down a little bit easier. Aside from that though, they still have that really pretty slip upon first application. Shade range is nice, etc. This one right here is the shade Candy K. This one is slightly more pinky. I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. Maybe I'll see if my sister wants it. I don't even know if I've actually used this or not, so I'm going to put this just to the side. And I know, guys, quick disclaimer, I should have said this before we started. I know I have a lot of product, and I will say with lipsticks, if anything, you know, does have to be thrown away um, or, it, you know, I'm not going to keep it, this is not something that I'm going to be giving away to people or, you know, that I obviously am going to sell in Mercari, things like that. Um, it's not very sanitary. If it's something like that, maybe I've swatched it or used it one time, um, I will spray it with alcohol, spray the outside with alcohol as well, and then pass it to a family member or a friend. Um, so please don't ask me to send these to you. Um, it, I don't, I would not feel comfortable in doing that. So first up, I have my pharmacy makeup. This is the shade 203. They also have a really pretty formula. Um, again, kind of has that nice little slip to it. I love the shade. I like the wand and stuff like that. It smells really nice, so I will hold on to this. This is my Hank and Henry La So Much. It was the one with him and Rick's Rick Rich Lux. Jeez. Um, I do like the applicator and stuff like that. It has kind of a velvet, moussey type of consistency to it. I do not like this shade on me, so I'm going to pass that along. Maybe see if my friend Janet would like that. Then I have my dose of colors. They are up there, cream of the crop, top of the top type of formulas. Um, I had gotten one, I think this one right here, in a boxy charm, I think. And then I bought some <laughs> because they're a beautiful formulation. Um, these are all pretty new. They have date night which is a pretty red. I do like the doe foot applicator on here as well. I like the way that they kind of come in a little bit and hug the lips. The application on these is beautiful. I have the shade Charm, another kind of deep, you know, like a burgundy shade. And then of course, nudes. Of course, nudes. I have a Desert Suede. This one, actually, this might be one of the ones I got in one of my original boxy charms. You can see, again, the texture looks kind of different. Um, it's kind of looking a little bit gloopy. And even when I pulled it out, the texture and consistency is a little different. I am going to toss this one. Dang it. I love this color too. But again, beautiful slip. Lasts all day. Um, I love it. This is Bear With Me. Of course, another nude. This one leans more kind of peachy. And then this one right here um, is called Let's. I'm not sure because I put a C on it. Um, if it's a C, you guys, it's one that I've used specifically for clients. Um, and I have not used on myself. So these ones right here, if I do use them for me, I get a disposable applicator and we use them in that manner. So that is it for my dose of colors. Um, I have a few ABH, I think. Um, I don't know, because I think one of these... I think actually two of these have not even been touched yet. I do not like this formula. Um, <laughs> um, it is bulletproof. I will say that very opaque, very intense color payoff, but you guys, they're very, very drying. And I feel like they break down way, way too quickly. I will show you the shades. Um, this one is trust issues. And again, they are beautiful. I do like the wand and stuff like that, but they are not my favorite formula. Not going to lie. This one is mod. I really love the shade. Yeah, I never even use this. Um, that's mod. I'm going to put that to the side again to pass on to a family or friend. This one right here is called Pure Hollywood. I'm going to open it very slowly again. Yep, never use that one either. And then this one right here is called Naked. <laughs> um, of course, they're all nudes. Yeah, I never even use these. Um, I think I had seen these at maybe TJ Maxx or something like that, or maybe ABH had a big sale, but... I had gotten these and then probably tried this one and realized they were super drawing on the lips. 
Then I have a couple of random ones over here. I have a couple of Tarte, the Tarte Slip Paints, and the Beauty Crop. This is old as dirt. Um, I was using it on clients, obviously, prior to this year. Um, and I don't even remember what shade this was or anything like that. But we got this in a Boxy or FabFitFun years ago, like at least two to three years ago. I am going to go ahead and actually toss this and trash it. Next up is the shade, I should have worn my glasses, I'm so sorry you guys, the shade Wannabe. This is again is a beautiful formula. I kind of compare this to how the Kylie ones are. Tons of shades, um, the formulation is really beautiful, has a nice little slip that I like in a matte liquid lipstick, but they do tend to break down slightly easier, um, like when you're eating and stuff like that. But there is a beautiful formula. I also love the doe foot. Again, I like the one that has like the little divot in it that really hugs the lips, so I will hold on to that one. This is the shade Birthday Suit. I've actually gone through quite a few of these. I even have a few minis of this. I don't think I've opened... Yeah, I haven't touched this one yet. Um, but again, nudes. I mean, we have a running thing. Pretty much it's either nude or I like crazy colors. Um, and then fall and winter, I go more berries, plums, things like that. I am going to grab out my Laura Lee Liquid Lipsticks. These are Laura Lee Los Angeles. You guys, beautiful formula. Up there, comparable with Lime Crime. Um... The, fantastic fantastic formulation um this one right here you can see actually both of these are probably almost gone so i'm going to try to pan them soon but we have the shade topless i do love the natural like soft like nude pink um i love the font everything about these um i do like the applicator they are kind of a more like velvet whipped type of texture and they smell like sweet tarts or something oh my god i love this formula so much um it should have sales all the time this one is the shade Jaybird. Again, a variation of a nude. I actually feel like this one is starting to feel kind of rough. Mm. Let me smell it. Okay, it still smells like candy. I think I'm going to leave this out so that I can actually use it up kind of ASAP because I do see the, like a texture difference in it. Um, this one I just got, and it is the shade, again, glasses, sorry guys, the shade Cabana. This is absolutely stunning. I haven't even opened this one yet. Ooh, baby. Mm, I'm really excited. I do want to swatch this one for you guys. I want to see it for myself too. Oh my God. Yeah, that's absolutely stunning. Um, again, they smell like sweet tarts. Beautiful formulation. Um, cannot recommend them enough. And then the last few in this little container. We're almost done with this little first container, you guys. But don't forget what I say. If this gets too long, y'all grab your tacos, grab your tequila, whatever your pleasure. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Um, Ofra is another one. They're another one of my top, top, top liquid lipstick, liquid lipstick brands. Um, they're up there again with Lime Crime, Dose of Colors, things like that. Um, I don't really have very many lipsticks, like liquid lipsticks, because that's what I predominantly wear. I don't have many that I just don't like, or I don't have many that don't have kind of a consistent formulation to them. Um, so this one right here is the Miami Fever. We'd gotten this in a boxy charm. I use this a lot. I think, yeah, it looks like it's drying out and I'm not getting much on the applicator. I'm going to smell it. It still smells really nice. I am going to go ahead and toss it though. Again, it is a little bit of an older lipstick and I just don't trust that. <laughs> this one right here is called Nude Potion. I'm already going to say this is a little slightly leaning more pink than I like to go and I don't think I've ever, yeah, I haven't used that. So I'm also going to declutter this one. This one right here also is leaning slightly more pinky. We had gotten this, I think, in an Ipsy bag. Somebody let me know. Where do we get the Ofer and Madison Miller? I think Ipsy, you guys. Um, but it's the Ofer and Madison Miller Oh My Rai Rai. Um, I don't think I opened this one. Yeah, everything looks clean on that. I haven't used this one either. Because it is leaning more pink, I am also going to declutter that one. This one right here I used to use on clients. You can already see that it is separated. It does not look very good. Um, of course, I haven't done a client in a year, so I'm literally just going to toss this. I will just show you the shade of it, though. It was mocha. Yeah, and it's, it's very dry. Okay, so we're going to definitely toss this one. <laughs> and then the last one is the shade Verona. We also had gotten this, I think, in a boxy charm. Yeah, that one's dried out as well. So I need to probably re-up and replenish my Ofra lipsticks because they're, again, a fantastic, fantastic formula. So we're doing pretty good, actually. I think I'm almost half and half. I'm going to grab some more, and I will be RB. All right, beauties, we are back. I'm going to go into my lip glosses in this little pink container real quick. And my little babies in here. <laughs> Alright, so I have a couple glam lights, my Alamar Cosmetics, and my Persona lip gloss. I'm going to go ahead and say right now, I know for sure I'm keeping the Persona because this is a beautiful formula. I'm very shocked that I liked this, but I did like it a whole, whole lot. 
Um, it has wonderful pigmentation. It has wonderful pigmentation, especially for a gloss. Um, it has some slight tackiness to it, but it's not goopy or thick or anything like that. And I really do love the shade. So we will hold on to that. The Alamar Cosmetics. Everybody said this is non-tacky at all. Y'all are lying. Um, I do like the shade, but it is definitely a little bit more sticky and tacky than what this one is. I think it's still beautiful, and I do like the level of pigmentation in it. I also like the shade, so I am going to hold on to this one. Um, it also smells really yummy. <laughs> the Glam Light ones, we have the shade S'mores and Hot Chocolate. So this one right here, beautiful, beautiful shade. Um, slightly more sticky than I kind of like, like you can, I think, even kind of see it kind of pulling my hairs up right here. Um, I do like the color of it and everything, but it's not my favorite. It smells amazing. I think I am going to declutter it. I used it one time in a video and it just was already settling, um, like in the corners of my mouth and stuff like that. So, mm, just for that reason, I am going to pass it along. I will spray it with alcohol and see, of course, if a sister wants it. Um, this one right here, I think I'm going to hold on to it, even though it, again, is slightly more sticky than I really like in a formulation. I do like the color of it, and I do want to keep just a few glosses. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Next up, we have an Iconic London. We have an ABH. We have this Pure 4-in-1. It has, like, the lip thing and the lip oil with it. We have a Sexy Mother Pucker by, I think, Seven Glory. Yeah, Seven Glory. I have a Tarte Grin and Barrett. Um, this was, like, from the Fruit Fetish, I think is what they were called. And then we have a Belle Beauty by Kim Gravel. So we will go through these very quickly. This right here, I'm going to go ahead and declutter. I can already see that it has started to separate. It is slightly more pink than I like. I think I actually do want to try more shades from her, though. This is one that is not very sticky, but it doesn't have a whole lot. I think that's kind of like the consensus with a gloss. Um, if it has kind of more opacity to it, more of a texture to it, it's going to be slightly more sticky. Um, but her formula is beautiful, you guys. When I first got this and I tried like a Today Special Value with a ton of her products in it, she has a wonderful, wonderful formulation. Um, only because it's slightly pinky, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Next up is the Too Faced one. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. Um, I've had this for a while and I don't even think I ever wore it. If I did, it was once. I'm trying to open it slowly. Yeah, I think I did wear it because I can see some wear around here. Um, again, it has beautiful opacity to it. It has kind of like a slight little shimmer in here. I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. I'm going to smell it. Yeah, it doesn't even smell the same. It kind of smells like strong perfume now. Um, yeah, but um, again, I know that most glosses, you guys, that's why I don't like glosses, <laughs> typically speaking. I know most are going to be sticky. Um, there are just some that, for me, are slightly more comfortable on the lips than others. So I am going to go ahead and trash that one. The Sexy Mother Pucker right here is the shade. I don't even know, but it's a lip plumping one. Um, bare enough. I do really like the shade of this. And this one is not quite as sticky as some of the other ones. So I am going to hold on to this one. It is also very comfortable on the lips. Again, not quite as opaque as some of the other ones. But I really do like that formulation, so I'm going to hold on to it. This right here is the Pure 4-in-1. It has a dual-ended matte lip stick and a lip oil, so technically I probably shouldn't have it in the lip gloss section. Um, but I really do like... Hi. He hello. Hello. <laughs> I like the little component. Um, as you saw, it's a little bit hard to get out. I do like the shade of it, and I do like the little oil that comes in it, so I am going to hold on to this. This right here, I'm going to go ahead and tell you I'm going to get rid of. I am not into metallic, frosty... None of that. If that's your vibe, that's your journey, boo, you do you. Um, I don't even think I ever used this. This is the Chez Saint Tropez. Yeah, I don't, I'm pretty sure I didn't use it. I don't think I did. I'm not quite sure. But um, yeah, it's just, it's super metallic -y. The formula on this is not quite as tacky as some of the other ones that I have tried in the past, but not my shade. I'm going to pass it along to a friend or family member. And then this one right here, the Iconic London. If I use a lip liner, I'm trying to see the shade, Love Struck, I think. Um, this is a beautiful formula. Um, I do like the doe foot on this. Huh, I'm getting too many swatches, y'all. I do like the formulation on this. Again, it's very, very light. Again, I like to wear a like a liner or something like that with this one, but it is a beautiful formula. Obviously, when I'm saying this, you guys, I, when I'm saying it's a beautiful formula, it's one that me, as a non-gloss wearer, can wear comfortably. <laughs> I'm going to wipe these off, and then we will finish up with the last couple of the glosses. 
All right, beauties, our last two glosses. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this looks not the best and it also has sparkles in it, but this was a fantastic formula. The Gigi Gorgeous, we also got this from Ipsy. Um, it is really, really nice. I did like the scent of it and the freaking doe foot is amazing. One of the most comfortable ones that I've worn just because of the shade and just because of like the little metallicness to it. I am going to declutter it, but beautiful, beautiful formula. And then last in our glosses is the Fenty Beauty. I think this is the Fenty Glow. Yes, is the Fenty Glow. Um, I really do enjoy this formula. I can tell you that people that say it is not sticky at all, they're lying. It's not sticky in the basis of a gloss. I will say that. Um, but it does have some tackiness to it. I do like the way that they smell and everything. Um, I did just get the Gloss Bomb Creams. Um, so I'll be trying those out as well. But I really do like this formula. Um, is it my all-time favorite? I think honestly, I think honestly the Iconic London one or the Persona probably are my favorites. Um, the Gigi Gorgeous was beautiful, but still a beautiful formula nonetheless. Um, I really do like it. I can show it to you. I do like the doe foot applicator on here as well, and they smell lovely. Not quite as rich in pigment. Um, the creams, I believe, are supposed to be more kind of saturated in color, so I'm excited to try those. So I will hold on to that one. And then we'll go into our little minis over here. I think honestly, I'm just gonna toss them over here. I'm sorry if that got loud. All right, so here are all of my minis. Again, you can see, I, you guys, I'm traditionally a nude matte lipstick wear, like typically, um, as we can tell. And then I love a signature red. I think a bold red is stunning, absolutely beautiful. I think, we'll do a little lime, lime crime ones really quickly. And again, if anything is old, the you know scent has changed, texture has changed, anything like that, uh, it's it's going in the trash. Um, and a lot of these you can see, hopefully you can see, um, have C's on them. Again, I used to buy specific nude shades for all obviously skin tones, um, and any of these have been used specifically with a wand. This is the shade Cindy. Again, they're all going to be variations of nude. It still looks good. Let me smell it. Yep, still smells good, so I'll hold on to that one. Again, this is one of my all-time favorite formulations, just period. This is the shade Sasha. Don't think I've... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have not used this. I may actually send this to my friend Sasha, so I'm going to put that to the side. <laughs> this is the shade Marshmallow, another, of course, nude. I have not even used this one either, so I'm not even going to open it. I'm going to stick it over here to my keep pile. This is the shade Riley, another beautiful nude, kind of more rich in tone. Mm, actually, that's looking kind of funky. Let me smell it. It still smells good and everything, but it looks slightly different. I am going to actually toss this one, but hello. That's beautiful. And then the last one is the shade Lulu. Aww. Ugh. Again, these were mostly client ones, and that one looks just fine, so I'll keep those. I have this little, I don't even know what this is, the Doucet Luscious Lip Stain. Um, this is old. This is something else. Again, we got like in an Ipsy bag or something. Um, I do see that it's starting to kind of settle. I can see like light orange, dark orange. Um, yeah, I am going to go ahead. This was really, really beautiful though. Like I love this shade. Absolutely stunning. So I'm going to go ahead and toss that one. I have this little buxom thing. I just got this as like a Sephora like freebie thing. I really, really like it. I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Next up, I have the Tardis Lip Paint uh, in the shade Birthday Suit. <laughs> um, this, again, was one of the ones I was telling you about that I really, really love. It is completely dried and out. Yeah, it's dry. It's completely dried out and almost empty. So, obviously, that's going into the trash. I have this YSL, wasn't it? Yeah, YSL something something matte stain. This is absolutely beautiful. Something else I think I got with like a gift with purchase or something like that. Um, I really love this beautiful berry tone. It kind of reminds me of the Clarins, um, like the Velvet Lit Perfector paint things. Um, it reminds me of that. It's beautiful, beautiful formula. Um, very rich in pigment. I love it. And it wears beautifully. Kind of the longer you wear it, like the better it actually starts to look. It's crazy. Um, my little mini NARS, we had gotten one of these in, again, probably BoxyCharm. This is the shade American Woman. Um, we had gotten one of these in like BoxyCharm or something a while back and I loved it so much that I went and got full sizes. 
So yeah, I really, really like this formulation. I do like the shade. They are pretty much bulletproof. They have a million different shades. Again, I bought a couple of full size ones. It's a beautiful formulation. Um, they're a little bit more pricey, but again, I really, really enjoy the formula. This one is a little teeny tiny little Aspen from Ofra. Again, probably got in a sub box. I, even just pulling it out, it already looks dry and is starting to break down. We're gonna go ahead and toss that one. All right, we have another little mini. Uh, uh -oh. We have another little mini Ofra. It's Palo Alto. Uh, you can see it has definitely kind of dried out and stuff like that. We're just gonna go ahead and toss that. Yeah, it looks kind of clumpy. Um, but I love their formula. I need to invest and get some new Ofra formulas. Get some new Ofra lippies. Next up, we have another Tardist lip paint, but again, a beautiful, a beautiful nude. I do like the formulation of these again, so I will hold on to that one. All right, next up, I have two Makeup Forevers. They are both the same exact shade. I really like their formula. Again, it can be slightly more drawing than some of the other ones that I do have, but it has that really pretty, like, kind of whipped texture to it. Feels very, very nice, very comfortable on the lips. I'm seeing that this one actually feels kind of dry. I'm gonna toss that one. Hopefully this one is not dried out. Actually, they both kind of seem a little bit dried out. This one seems a little better. Let me smell it. Okay, it still smells good. So we'll hold on to this one. <laughs> this one right here, I absolutely love. You guys would have seen this in my 1940s look. It's the Revlon, I think. No, L'Oreal, the Rouge Signature. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so, so, so pretty. Um, It doesn't look quite as red, like intense red like this on the lips until you really build it up. But I do like the doe foot applicator. I don't know if you can kind of see down into here. It definitely has more of like a, a bright pink base to it. So like even over here, if I kind of shear it out a little bit, you can see that, that looks more like pink leaning raspberry. Um, so I did have to build it up quite a bit to get kind of that true classic red. But this was so precise. Um, gave a beautiful, beautiful overdrawn lip line for my 40s look. Um, lasted well. Everything else, it cannot recommend that enough. Beautiful, beautiful formulation. I have one little mini Avon in here. The shade, I think plum or the shade, I'm trying to, vamp, vamp, I think. Um, and this one right here is the shade Perfectly Nude. Those are my two favorite Avon lipsticks ever. Um, again, I'm not too, too much of a lipstick wearer, but this coupled with a lip liner, it's such a beautiful, yummy, peachy nude. Um, not quite as long lasting, but it is still a really beautiful thing. I am going to go ahead and toss this though, because I'm sure this is at least two years old. So we'll go ahead and throw that away. Next up is one of my holy grails. It is my Stila Beso Shimmer. Anytime anybody ever asks for a recommendation on a red lip and they have a fairly, you know, similar skin tone to myself, they have the shimmer version and the regular matte version. This is kind of my classic go-to holiday red. It does have the slightest little bit of a metallic shift to it, but it's not 90s metallic. Um, beautiful formulation. The opacity is great. The wear time is fantastic. I love this shade so much. Um, this is my Too Faced Melted Matte in Queen Bee. Cannot tell you how many of these I've gone through. I also have a new one. Um, it is stunning. This again is leaning more kind of purple grayish. Kind of similar to this one over here. Again, it's a beautiful formulation. They have a million different shades. They have several different, you know, they got vinyls, things like that. Um, beautiful formulation. I'm actually seeing that this one is starting to dry out some. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this, especially since I do have a backup. Next up, we have, this is probably Queen Bee too. Yep, <laughs> another Too Faced Melted Matte in Queen Bee. You guys, I cannot tell you. I think it was 2017 maybe. Either 2016 or 2017, I went through, I know eight of these. Um, so I'm going to see if this one's dried out. It is also dried out. Shit. Okay. Anyways, I really, really love this, but I do have a new one. I have a backup. Thank goodness. So we're going to toss that. This is my little Pat McGrath, like lip balm type of formulation that Zena gave to me. Um, it is beautiful. Absolutely stunning formulation. Um, of course not long wearing. It's more of a lip balm type of consistency. Um, but I really like it. I like the shade. So of course I'm going to hold on to that. And of course my fellow unicorn lover gave it to me. So duh. And then last in this little pile over here, we have the, the Balm, the Balm Jour Creamy Lip Stain. Um, I think this is probably going to be expired. Uh, I have not used it or touched it in a very, very long time. Again, I loved the formulation on this. They have a ton of different colors. I think the Balm is a brand that is super underrated. 
the balm, the Mad Lash Mascara, it used to be my holy, holy grail of mascaras. I need to repurchase that and see if I still love it as much. Um, but I am going to go ahead and get rid of it. I will say, though, the wearability on this is lovely, kind of like the YSL Stain. The longer you wear this, kind of all, you know, the opacity of it goes away, but you're left with a beautiful little flush of color on the lips. It's stunning. But I am going to go ahead and toss it. Of course, I have a lot. So I'm going to get another pile out, and I will be RB. All right, beauties, we are back. We're going to dive into our... Marilyn Monroe cups. This entire one is a bunch of lip sense product. No, I do not sell it. No, I have never sold it. I tried a few and was helping out a friend who was selling it and then another friend gave me a bunch. <laughs> um, these are honestly old. I'm not sure they're still good. We're gonna, we're gonna see. So first off, I'm gonna keep the little gloss things because even these just as a gloss slash a like lip treatment, I'm gonna hold on to all three of these. So where am I gonna start? Uh, we'll just start down here. <laughs> um, yeah, this is looking really nasty, really, really rough. Um, I used to love these. This was Praline Rose. This was one of my all time favorites. Oh yeah, that's gross. Ew. Uh, I don't even know if I wanna put these on my hand, let alone my lips. Um, but it was a stunning, beautiful, again, you know, nude shade. Um, these, I will caution you. I don't even know if they still sell this, being fully transparent. I'm not sure. Um, but they are highly alcohol-based, which keeps them, obviously, being long-lasting on the lips. If you're somebody who has drier lips, you need to exfoliate and kind of prep your lips and use an oil or a balm or something like that prior to putting this on. The first couple of times you use them, they are kind of stingy and they will completely dry your lips out. But once you get used to that, they're beautiful. They are 100% bullet freaking proof. This one is expired, so uh, she has to go. This one is also a praline rose. This one looks newer. Hallelujah. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. So hopefully you guys can see. Like, it definitely looks a lot different. Yeah, we're going to toss that. I'm honestly probably going to toss all these, you guys. I'm just a little nervous. Um, let me shake this up. This one is the shade Pre Precious Topaz. Um, again, you can see I have funky colors or I basically have nudes. That's kind of my thing. Yeah, these all feel and look different. I honestly probably, mm, yeah, guys, we're just going to throw all these away, I think. That was a lot to throw away, you guys. I'm sad. Um, next, we're going to bust out our Rebel Rouge Labs. Again, other than if it is expired, I'm obviously going to keep all these. Um, I like to use these as eyeliners, things like that. The only thing I will say, the Doe Foot is not my all-time favorite. It's obviously, this is the shade Sanctuary. Um, it is kind of like just your basic standard Doe Foot applicator. I do like the way that these smell. I will caution you. If you try to build these up too much, they will become dry. They will dry your lips out and they can tend to become a little bit patchy. So less is more. Um, they are opaque enough and pigmented enough in my personal opinion that you should not have to try to build them up to, you know, a, a deep level of pigmentation. Um, these kind of remind me of like the Kylie liquid lipsticks where it's a beautiful formulation. They have a beautiful kind of that oily slip that I really like in my liquid lipstick formula. Um, but again, they can tend to kind of like break down a little bit easier on the lips if you try to layer them up. Um, so definitely going to keep. It's still good. This one is the shade Vein. Yep, still good. Um, and she has some brand new colors. She has this beautiful, crazy, grungy, like, uh, orangey, mustardy shade I want so bad. Okay, still good. This one right here is one of my all-time favorites. It is Flesh. I absolutely love, love, love this shade. It is, again, this kind of grungy, 90s, grazy, you know, type of nude. Oh, my, I love it. Absolutely love it, especially with a brown lip liner. Next up is her gloss in the shade Laser. Again, you guys know I'm not a gloss person, but you can see that I've used the shit out of this. I used it a lot when I first got it. Actually, dang, it's almost empty. Hey, go me, you guys. I haven't done that in a long time. It has, like, beautiful little reflectiveness to it. And this is a non-tacky formula, again, on the basis of, you know, I'm not a gloss person. But it is very, very comfortable, as you can see, because, well, it's almost gone. I'm proud of myself, y'all. All right, next up, this is the shade Sanguine. And it is a true red. I also love her components. 
I just have to say that. I love her components, and I also love her font and stuff like that. She's, I love her stuff. I love, I think, honestly, this one is dried out. Yes, so I'm going to repurchase this one. Again, that is the shade Sanguine. And I do have a discount code with Rebel Rouge Labs. It is always linked down below. This one is a true deep dark bubblegum pink called Innocent. You guys have seen this in looks as well and also as liner. I feel like this one is kind of also dried out. So I'm going to repurchase that one as well. Then we have one of my favorites. I love this. You guys have also seen this. This is the shade Creature. I also love for theming her names. Okay, that one's perfect. Oh, let me, I guess I could swatch a few of them for y'all. So you can see how pretty that is. I love the slit that these, these have to them. Um, again, I just say don't try to build them up, you know, a whole, whole, whole lot. But other than that, I really love. And then last but certainly not least from River Rouge Labs is Purgatory. Um, my camera cut off on me, so I did swatch it already over here for you. So you can actually see it dry. Um, if you are looking for the blackest of black, the inkiest, most beautiful, delicious, yummy black, liquid lipstick of life, um, hi, that's it right there. Um, beautiful, beautiful black, very, very long wearing. Again, it, the pigmentation level here is insanity, you guys. It is, it's awesome. All right, beauties, we're going into the next tray right here. Again, I'll just take everybody out. And we will start. First up are my little Clarins. This is the Velvet Lip Enhancer. We had gotten this one right here in a boxy charm. I fell in love with it, so I went and got two of these from the boxy pop up. Um, you guys, when I say this is literally one of the most comfortable, most beautiful. The, the the finish of this when they say velvet that is absolutely true um it feels incredible on the lips um beautiful shades it is kind of pricey it's 26 dollars but i would gladly pay that um but i was happy to find this in my boxy pop-up um it wears really beautifully and as it kind of wears down you're left with still a little flush of color a little tint a little kiss of something left on the lips beautiful 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 highly highly recommend um, this right here is my little Kaja, little like crayon thing. You like pump it up from here. Very comfortable. It's almost to me kind of a mixture of like a gloss balm lipstick all together. As you can see, it has a little bit of a slip to it. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. Not the longest lasting. That's kind of why I steer away from, you know, traditional bullet lipsticks, but I'm, I'm getting my feet wet y'all. Okay. It's all about getting our feet wet and trying new things. Um, but I really, really do enjoy this. I like this a whole lot. Um, it smells insane. It smells so good. Next up, I got this little Maybelline Superstay ink crayon. I got this from Katie in our little swap. Um, again, very, very beautiful, slightly more matte again on the lips, but I love the shade of it. Um, a really long lasting, very comfortable formulation. I really, really love this. Next up is this L'Oreal Paris Matte Lip Crayon that I actually thought was nude and it wasn't nude. Um, but it's beautiful. I really like the wearability of it. It feels comfortable on the lips. Um, you do have to kind of build this up a little bit. It's not the most opaque in the entire world on application on the lips, but it's really beautiful and I'm happy to have it. I really do like it. We'll grab a few more. This right here used to be one of my holy grail products. They don't even make these anymore. It makes me so damn mad. Is the NYX Epic Ink. This was the shade Poised. Um, this was absolutely beautiful. They smell really, really nice. It leaves this beautiful little wash of color on the lips. You can build it up some. But again, that's why I like stains. Um, as you kind of wear this, it will start to break down on the lips, but then it leaves a beautiful little flush of color behind. These are incredible. Um, I know it's probably old, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it, but I wish they'd come back out with this formula. It's beautiful. Next up is my Gourmand Girls, the shade Churro. Um, I really like this. I like her component. I also have a discount code with Gourmand Girls. It leans slightly more pink than I like. I traditionally like to go obviously kind of more nude nude, but I really like it. I like the formulation. Um, I also like a slightly different doe foot one that kind of hugs the lips, but nonetheless, it's still beautiful and I really do enjoy this. Next up is my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is the shade... California. Um, again, another beautiful formulation. I do like the doe foot on these. The color, again, is leaning slightly more pinky for me, but I really like it. This is another one that kind of feels like the Clarins ones, where it has kind of a whipped, velvety type of texture to it. So I really do like that, and I will keep that. 
Next up, y'all, this was one of my favorite, favorite lip products that I've tried in a very, very long time. It's the Glam Light, um, it was the Red Velvet, yeah. The Glam Light Red Velvet Liquid Lipstick. You guys, first and foremost, I love the component. Yes, it's slightly bulky. I know a lot of people say that, but I like it. It also has a mirror. Hey, um, the scent is beautiful. It smells like cake. Again, not my favorite doe foot, but that's personal preference. Um, but quite opaque. The formulation, again, has that beautiful kind of oily slip that I really, really love. And it is bulletproof. It doesn't accentuate lines. It, this is a stunning stunning formula. I was blown away by this. I can say the same exact thing for the Brenda Dylan Kelly. It was like the, what was this called again? Um, Brenda loves Dylan. This is from Sola Look. Same exact thing. Um, absolutely beautiful formulation. Um, I like the doe foot a lot on this. I like these you guys, because I feel like you can kind of really draw onto the lips. Again, it has that beautiful, yummy, oily slip that I really like in my lip products. You guys already know that. Um, you have a couple seconds to kind of play with it, and it doesn't, again, it doesn't accentuate texture or lines or anything like that. This is a beautiful formula. Um, I want to try more stuff from them, for sure. Next up, we'll grab these few products. We have our Rare Beauty. This is the shade Courage. This is another standout product that I discovered this past year. Um, the shade is absolutely lovely. I do like the doe foot applicator on this. Um, this is absolutely beautiful. Again, kind of similar to the way that the Clarins are. Um, it has a soft kind of whipped velvety texture to it. I, I love these. It smells nice. The packaging and stuff is really beautiful. It's kind of like it's that soft matte touch. Love it. Um, next up, again, one of my other favorite types of formulations. These are the Too Faced Melted Matte. This one, this one is the Pumpkin Spice. Then we have Caramel Apple and Sugar Cookie. I love all three equally, and I just got these, so I will, of course, be holding on to these. But they're absolutely beautiful. Again, have that nice slip that I like. Um, the opacity is there. They don't break down too easily, so I really love them. And, of course, you know, Queen Bee was my... My all-time BFF for a long time. <laughs> Next up, we have the brand new Wet n Wild Cloud Paint that you guys saw me use. I really do like this. I was going to declutter this, but I'm going to try it again. Um, just because, again, it has that whipped kind of velvety, like, moussey type of texture. And I love this type of applicator. And I liked the shade. Um, I would wear this, obviously, with a lip liner for me personally. Um, the only thing I didn't like, as comfortable as it is, as light as it is, as much as I loved everything about it, it just didn't dry down all the way, so it left kind of a, a slight tackiness to the lips, and you can kind of feel it. Aside from that, I really do enjoy it, and I would recommend them. Um, here is the full size of the NARS that I was telling you guys about, that I love the other one so much, I purchased a full size. This is the shade Get It On. Um, again, slightly more pricey, but who oh, baby. Um, again, that really pretty slip to them. The opacity is lovely. They don't enhance my lines or anything like that. Um, beautiful, beautiful formulation. Highly recommend. This is the NYX. I don't remember what this was called. It's red hot, like hot couture, haute couture. Um, but this is a sander little lipstick. I think I got it in my Walmart beauty box. It feels like glue and it's not very pigmented. I don't like this. Not at all. We're going to throw that one away. Um, <laughs> and then we have not too many more in this. I'm so sorry this is so long, you guys. Um, if I feel like it's going to be too long, I will cut it into two. Um, you guys know, especially with declutter videos, I feel like they're longer anyway. So just bear with me. And if you guys are here, thank you. I appreciate you so much. This is the Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper. I've never even tried it, so I can't say either way, yes or no. So I'm going to keep it to hold on to it and try it. This is the Makeup Monsters Liquid Lipstick in the shade Deja Brew. This is old as dirt. I really did like it. I do like the shade of it, and I also like the applicator a whole lot. Um, and as you can see, it's a deep, dark... Actually, that doesn't... Never mind, it smells kind of funky. Okay, um, beautiful formulation again, has a nice oily slip. Basically, anything that I talk about is going to have that type of formulation to it, where it has a nice slip, um, a wonderful opacity... They, you know, don't highlight my texture and, and my fine lines or anything like that. Wearability is wonderful. Um, there are a few, again, like I said, um, like with the Gourmand Girls, with Kylie, with, 
um, Rebel Rouge Labs that if you try to build them up too much, they can start to kind of flake and they will break down a little bit easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that. Um, this is a half caked in the shade Girl Crush. I absolutely loved this. I love orange lipsticks. Um, I do, of course, love that doe foot. It is my favorite for lips. And you can see it's just this beautiful, fiery, you know, reddy orange color. I love this. Let me smell it, make sure it still smells okay. Mm, nope, it doesn't. It smells like alcohol. We're gonna go ahead and toss that. I got that, I think, in an MC a long, long time ago. This used to be one of my holy grails. I actually think I have a backup of this. It's Requiem from KBD. Um, beautiful, again, kind of grungy. I love the doe foot as well. Kind of grungy, like lilac-y shade. It's beautiful. Same thing with these. Um, even though it has that beautiful slip that I really like, these are another one that I feel like if you try to overbuild it up um, or kind of keep layering, it can kind of break down on you. But aside from that, beautiful formulation. This and bow and arrow used to be my shit. Okay. Then the last few in this container, hallelujah. <laughs> I have this little mini Sephora, I don't even remember the shade, is a cream lip shade, lip stain in the shade 35. Um, I used to also use this a ton. This is dried out, I can already tell just kind of by touching it. Uh, yeah, there's like no, nothing there. It may also kind of almost be empty. Um, this is another one kind of like Queen Bee where it's that pretty like kind of grungy, lilac-y, gray-y type of shade. Um, but it's old, we're gonna toss it, but I loved it. Um, Next up are my Lux Velvet by ColourPop. I absolutely love this formulation. I have the shades Can You Even and Casual Dress. This is a beautiful, beautiful, again, whipped kind of moussey texture. Um, very, very comfortable on the lips. I like the, you know, the applicator and stuff like that to it, and they smell fantastic. These are amazing. The Lux Lip Olds too. Ooh, baby, amazing, amazing. I'm not getting ready very many in this batch, y'all, sorry. Next up, something that completely, again, shocked me. Um, this is the Hank and Henry. These are like the, what is it called? Uh, satin matte. And this is the shade Sex. First of all, I love the packaging. You push a little button and it comes down. The packaging is absolutely stunning. Has his signature owl on it. And then you pull it out. I've used it a ton, so you don't judge me. But it's this beautiful, again, kind of grungy, grayish nude type of shade. And the... You don't see the actual like diamonds, like the little diamantes, um, but it is a beautiful matte formulation. Very, very comfortable, very opaque. Um, I really like this, like a lot, a lot. Next up, I have my Rare Beauty. This is the Lip Balm, Dewy Lip Balm in the shade Thankful. Um, I got this in like the little like holiday, like Christmassy type of kit. Again, it's kind of a standard balm. Feels super comfortable on the lips. Um, doesn't offer so much opacity, but again, it's a balm, not a true lipstick. Um, smells really nice. Very comfortable, very velvety finish. Love. Same thing can be said for my little Kaja, the Air Heart. This is the shade Ride or Die. You guys saw me rave about this when I discovered it. Um, love, love, love. Again, it's a nude. Um, has beautiful opacity to it. I don't feel like it kind of settles into my, you know, my lines or anything around my lips. It's beautiful. It smells yummy as well. Woo! Y'all, we're in the home stretch. I'm going to grab some more and I will be RB. All right, beauties, we are back. These are all my new slash have never tried, need to try slash backups. Um, I'm going to go super, super quick. I'm not going to swatch any of these. This video is 8 million years long. So I have not yet tried the W7, the very, very green, moisture rich lipstick. I did get this in my swap from Kate, but of course I'm going to hold on to it. These are the Juvia's Place. It came with like the gold palette that I got on clearance. And oh, it's a heck yes, honey. Um, but they are the lip balms in Mango and Guava. And I am excited to try these. If you've tried these, let me know. So I will be testing these out for you guys. Um, I also got a backup. Again, I love the clearance, the Velvet Lip Perfectors. This is another nude one. Um, you guys, seriously, if you, especially if you have Boxy Pop-Up, I would spend the 26 though. If you have Boxy Pop-Up and they come up in it again, get some. Seriously, get some. Um, I have this Huda Beauty Slip, Huda Beauty Silk Balm. It's like, I guess a gloss. I'm not really sure. Um, oh, Hydra Plumping Lip Balm in the shade Blush. I got this with like a gift of purchase or maybe like a mini Huda set, possibly. I got a ton of new color pop stuff. I got a Lippy Sticks. I've never tried their Lippy Sticks. Yes, I'm for real. A Lippy Pencil. I do like their Lippy Pencils. Um, I also got the Lippy Stick. This is like from the little like Poppy Collection. And this is the Wine Not Liquid Liner uh, Eyeliner. I don't know why that's in here. Let me put it with my liners. So I will be testing these out. Again, I have not tried the Lippy Sticks, but I do like their liners, eyeliners, things like that. 
Um, I have a Tardis Lip Paint in the shade Bestie. I will keep this. It is brand new and a nude. Yes, so we'll hold on to that for sure. I also have some KVD. I got these from, I think, Sephora. They were like five bucks. <laughs> so I was like, uh, why the heck not? Again, love their formula. Um, I did get a lip liner in the shade Coven. You can see it's a pretty purple shade. And then these are also purples and a crucifix. So I got an Aisha, a Suspiria, and a crucifix. Again, they were five dollars, so I couldn't pass it up. And they are a fantastic formulation. I have a September Rose Cosmetics. This is the lip gloss in the shade... I have no idea how the hell to say that, so I'm just going to put this right here, and hopefully you guys can see it. Um, but again, I have not tried it yet. Their eyeshadow formulation is impeccable. Beautiful. So I'm excited to try that. I have a Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Paint, or Maracuja Juicy Lip, I guess, gloss. Yeah, Juicy Lip. So I'm guessing it's a gloss, but I have not tried this. This is in the shade Holiday Spritz. These are things that, guys... They were like on sale or um, through indie brands. You guys know I'm all about indie brands. I have a ultra matte lip from ColourPop in the shade Sunnyside. Um, I have not tried one of their matte liquid lipsticks since Beeper years ago, and I'm not sure if it's the same formulation. So again, kind of trying to test the waters this year, get my feet wet with some new stuff, even though this was all purchased prior to this year. <laughs> I have a Steal It Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. Again, these are one of my favorites, and this is the shade Angela, which is a really beautiful muted nude shade. I have my friend also has her own little company called Dark Horse Cosmetics. I got like a red shade and of course a more nude shade. So I will let you guys know how these are. Again, she's an indie brand. Go check her out on Instagram if you want to. I also have a BH Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade Samantha. And then I have a Minted Cosmetics Plum on Over liquid lipstick. I swear by the Minted Cosmetics bronzer. And then I purchased this and their neutrals palette. So I will also be testing these out. So we'll be keeping all those of course. Next up, I have a backup of my Queen Bee, my Melted Matte. We've already had this discussion. I used to absolutely love this. I still do love it. I need to get back into kind of doing purples. Um, I kind of used to do a thing where I did like blues, greens, oranges, purples in the spring and summertime. And then obviously I do nudes year round. And then I would do kind of bolder shades in the winter, fall and winter. This is my Fenty Beauty. I do not remember the shade of this. Unveil Stunna Lip, Lip Paint. Um, I love the component. It's very heavy, feels very luxe. I do like the wand. I it was a little bit of a learning curve for it, not going to lie. Um, again, it has that beautiful slip on it. This is another one, though, that I will say the same that I've talked about with a few. If you try to over, you know, kind of load this up, kind of over layer it, um, the the wear down is, is a little bit faster on this. But aside from that, love, 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 love component is stunning. And then we have this little container right here. Um, I do have two Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipsticks. These are also one of my favorite formulations. I have, of course, a nudie shade and then kind of a ready orange shade. Um, I like the doe foot applicator on here. It is such a beautiful color. Um, again, long wearing. Absolutely love it. Feels comfortable on the lips. Doesn't over dry the lips. And I love the shades, of course. Oh, baby. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And they smell nice. Really nice. <laughs> they smell like candy. Next up, I have my two Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Creams. I have the Cookie Jar and Honey Waffles. I have not tried these yet, so I will do an update with you guys and be testing this with you guys. I got this from Sephora. It was part of like their little holiday things. Again, I'm trying to get my feet wet and try more glosses and actual bullet lipsticks. And I've heard wonderful things about Huda's formula. This is the Huda Beauty Mini Power Bullet Kit. Um, and I'm excited to try this as Inter... It has interview and girls trip and of course they're nudes. So I will also be testing these out and trying these. <laughs> um, next I have this little thing right here from Juice Beauty. I have no idea what this even is, you guys. It's a liquid lipstick in the shade Drew. I honestly forgot I had this. And I don't remember my thoughts on it. I don't like that applicator. And it kind of feels sticky. Yeah, we're going to toss that. I didn't even remember I had this, to be honest with you. Um, so I'm just going to toss it. <laughs> um, the Crayon Case is another um, woman-owned, black-owned, and indie brand that I love and support. This is the shade Marie, and then we have the shade Bear. Again, beautiful, beautiful formula. I do like the doe foot applicators, and of course, they're nudes. This is another one that has that really beautiful kind of velvet type of a formulation to it. 
Um, again, long wearing, the pigmentation level is there. Love these, cannot say enough. I'm not getting rid of nothing. <laughs> Help me, you guys. <laughs> Next up, I have my very first MAC lipstick I've ever, ever, ever tried. I actually really do enjoy it. Again, I'm getting my feet wet with regular bullet lipsticks. They're not my favorite. However, this is very comfortable on the lips. I liked the scent, um, everything that, you know, it felt nice on the lips. Um, the wearability was there. I, I did enjoy it. And this is the shade Ladybug. I have this Pixie and Miriam Maquillage. This is the shade posh nude again of course it's a nude um beautiful formulation i like the doe foot i can always tell it when it's these doe foot doe foot applicators because they're hard to get out love the shade this is another one that has that beautiful kind of velvety kind of finish to it um love 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 and it smells really nice as well i also have this little elf stain i'm gonna go ahead and toss this you can see i used it actually a lot it is really really nice i just feel like it's kind of getting old but it's a beautiful stain and then kind of as you wear it, I'll shear it down here a little bit. As you wear it, the kind of deeper pigment goes away. And again, you're left with just like a little flush of color. Um, it is a really beautiful formulation, but it is getting a little bit old. So I'm going to toss that. I have these two Urban Decay little vice things. I used the hell out of these last year. Um, they are, again, kind of that really pretty moussey kind of whipped velvet type of texture. The pigmentation is not the best in these, but I don't think it's supposed to be. Um, but this is another one that as you wear it, and I'll kind of shear it out over here, the kind of glossy part goes away and the kind of heavier level of pigmentation goes away. And then you're left with just a tiny little flush of color. The only thing I can say, like this one right here, look at this shade, y'all. It's supposed to be this bright orange. This is the shade Streak. Um... That is not that color, y'all. That is nowhere near that color. So that kind of pissed me off a little bit. It's more pinky. I think, honestly, I'm going to get rid of this. No, I do like it. Um, but again, it's really pretty. It has a really pretty flush. And then as you do wear it, like I said, the pigment and the gloss kind of goes away. And you're left with just like a little sheer flush of color. I only wish, like, that needs to be that color. That color is gorgeous. Um, but they're beautiful, um, worth every penny. I'm honestly... I'm going to say I'm going to keep these because they're some of my favorites. I love reds. You guys know this. I love nudes. I love orange. Um, his is another formulation that I really do like. The opacity is there. They don't, I feel like, kind of accentuate my lines. Um, but they're another one that if you try to over build them up on the lips, they're going to break down a little bit easier and kind of get like that weird, you know, patchiness in the center. Um, I'm going to hold on to this for different types of looks. I use them for kind of like more artistic type of looks. You can also use it as liner. I really love this shade right here as well. Family Jewels, beautiful nude. Um, all of these I've never even touched. And I think I'd gotten this like when I got Blue Blood a long time ago. And then I got these. So I think I'm probably going to put these on my Mercari. I never even opened them, never used them, never touched them. Um, and we all have seen I have... 2,000 nude liquid lipsticks. So I am going to pass those along as well. And I'm going to end it here. Uh, this is long enough. I am going to do a separate video if you guys want to still see it um, of lip scrubs, uh, lip oils, lip treatments, things like that, and then my lip liners. Um, if you're still here, thank you so absolutely much. And if you are still here, comment down below. Enter me with a yellow heart secret giveaway, secret prize. I love you guys. Rules are in the description box. Be your own best beautiful.